I avoided the ceremony as far as I could. Most of the Maasai girls undergo this mutilation when they're 12. I really liked going to school. I knew that once I go through the cutting, I am going to be married off and my dream of becoming a teacher was going to end. My mind said run away, but I had to face my dad and say, I would only go through the cutting if he lets me go back to school. It was done in the morning using a very old rusty knife with no anesthesia. I can never forget that day. Eventually, I was the first girl in my community to go to college in the U.S. I am Kakenya Taya, and I returned to my village to start a school for girls so they too can achieve their full potential. So just take two. When girls start at our school, they're very shy. But over time, we see them very confident. How are you, class? Hi. They are doing very well. It's the most exciting thing. Our work is about empowering the girls. These girls are saying no to being cut. They're dreaming of becoming lawyers, teachers, doctors. Fathers are now saying, my daughter could do better than my son. Why should you work hard to achieve your goals? I came back so the girls in my community don't have to negotiate like I did to achieve their dreams. That's why I wake up every morning. Yeah. <laughs>